been hearing this morning that the Queen is going to visit Chelmsford for the first time since it became a city. Uh, she'll be accompanied by Prince Philip. They'll be the chief guests at a service in Chelmsford Cathedral on Tuesday, May the 6th, to celebrate the centenary of the cathedral and the Anglican Chelmsford Diocese. After the service, and this has only just come through, Her Majesty will visit Felsted School in the north of the county as part of the school's 450th anniversary celebrations. Well, for, for uh, BBC Essex, Felicity Simpa is at the school at the moment. But, uh, Felicity, not many schools are 450 years old, are they? No, there's not, Dave, and, and how fitting, really, that they're having a royal visit or during their 450th year. No stranger to royal visits here in Felsted. I mean, the school's been here since 1564. That's when it was founded, originally as, as a grammar school, and it's built up and, and changed uh, over the years. But it's now, for those of you who, who haven't seen it, it's just this beautiful, grand building that sits uh, in Felsted with a huge, beautifully mown uh, green lawn in front of it, absolutely Vast. And um, as, you, as I was saying, you know, no stranger to royal visits here. Uh, when they celebrated their 400th anniversary, their 400th birthday, um, the Queen Mother then visited the school. That was back in uh, 1964. Um, so really, it's, it's a school that stood here as, as an independent school for, for centuries, and, and they're very proud of that fact. And now you've been speaking to the headmaster. I have been speaking to the headmaster, who's told me this morning they're very excited the Queen and the uh, Prince, uh, Prince Philip are coming to visit. And, and I asked him earlier on how long the preparations for this visit have been going on. It's quite a long process. You make an application and then you discover that um, the school will be in the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh's diary. Uh, and this becomes consolidated over time. Uh, obviously, we've already had uh, quite a few meetings here um, with the Lord Lieutenant's Office staff coming and Buckingham Palace officials coming uh, to look at the venue and the route and itinerary and so forth. Um, so it's been over time, really. And we're allowed to come out with uh, information now that this is happening on the 6th of May. Um, the reason for it is primarily that this is the 450th anniversary year of the school. And first, it is one of a very small number of independent schools that are 450 years years old or older than that. So we're part of quite a select club, really. I think there's a second reason, which is a personal one for the Queen, uh, and this is that her mother, the Queen Mother, came and celebrated the 400th anniversary at Felsted 50 years ago. So there's quite a nice sort of closing of a circle uh, with the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh visiting uh, in a few weeks' time. So it's not your first royal visit then. How much preparation is going to go into it, and what can you draw from that previous visit 50 years ago? Presumably there are people around who still remember it. Well, there are. We, we've had quite a few royal visits actually before um, the 400th anniversary Princess Alexandra came here and uh, Princess Anne came to open our dining hall uh, about 25 years ago um, the, the preparation is massive uh, and a lot of work has been going on behind the scenes already um, we're very excited about what's going to happen um, it's a big day everyone has to be part of it so you have to organize it very carefully all of the students, all of our special guests will be able to um, see the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh and feel part of the whole uh, celebration, if you like. So I know you can't give away too many details, but what is the Queen going to be doing here in the Duke of Edinburgh when they come? Well, well I, can, I can say uh, that the main part of proceedings would be uh, a formal uh, presentation with the, all of the school present, um, where the Queen will uh, unveil uh, two plaques, actually. Uh, one is celebrating the 450th anniversary, um, which will um, go up in the school um, alongside or near the one uh, about the 400th anniversary that the Queen Mother unveiled. But the second plaque um, is celebrating the rebuilding of Follyfield Boarding House, which we lost to fire um, nearly two years ago now, and the replacement house is being constructed. So this will actually have been dedicated by the Queen and be um, in the house, installed in the new boarding house. The boarding house won't be opened until the autumn term and we have another visitor coming to do that but the the plaque will be there celebrating the coming of full circle if you like uh, of a house which was destroyed um, it's a beautiful building but a fantastic state-of-the-art boarding house which replaces it um, in a few months time and um, what's they going to be doing after they've, they've done that the formalities of, of the plaques uh, well, well they, before the formal part uh, they will uh, we're, we're incredibly honored that they will have lunch here at Felsted and so um, obviously there's a great deal of excitement amongst our catering team and everyone involved with uh, setting out a, a first-class lunch. Um, the Queen has already chosen um, from the menus we've submitted um, and so that, that's happening beforehand and then the formal part of the proceedings will be uh, in our main hall uh, 
and then they will then leave by helicopter um, and that will land in the school as well. So I'm sure there'll be a lot of very, very excited students around. Can you tell us what she's going to have for lunch? <laughs> uh, that's a very... Uh, uh, yes, OK. That, that, uh, I'm sure she wouldn't mind. Um, the main course she, she decided she would like is to go for pheasant. So we'll be having pheasant as the main course. Um, and uh, pairs with uh, a red wine juice um, for the dessert. Sounds delicious. <laughs> And the catering staff nervous about cooking for the room. I, I, well, I just say that um, they are nervous, but uh, we're trying to cover every aspect. So um, we've already had one tasting with the chairman of governors and myself and various other people tasting the food. We have another one planned for the second go with further refinement. So I'm sure it will be fine. Actually, on the day, it will be superb. And what, what have the students' reaction been to it? Because they must be incredibly excited. Well, well the, the interesting thing, at this point right now, they don't know. Uh, but tomorrow morning on Wednesday, they return to school for their first school day and I will be telling them um, in assembly tomorrow. Um, so uh, there are one or two students who've picked up the idea something is happening on the 6th of May. They are aware it's an important day. They have no idea who the visitors are going to be. Uh, so I can expect tomorrow there will be an extraordinary excitement. And I know they will just, you know, rise to the occasion again and be thrilled and so excited about all of this happening. And the opportunity maybe for one or two of them to, to shake hands or say hello? Well, yes, there will be. I mean, the, the, we have a head boy and a head girl. And this has been a very good year to be head boy and head girl. They will be in formally introduced to the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh. Um, they cannot be escorted by anybody they've not been introduced to. So they'll be in the line-up at the beginning to introduce them. And they will escort um, the, the, our royal visitors into the hall for the formal part of the proceedings. Brilliant. You must be excited yourself. I'm absolutely thrilled. I'm, I am so thrilled about the... Um, if you like, the, the interest in the school and the feeling that uh, Felsted is such an important place to come and to visit for its 450th anniversary, it's um, more than we could have hoped for. Um, it's wonderful to have the reigning monarch come here. Rather lovely, actually, and uh, the Queen coming to Felsted School there.